let me tell you another ferret story. When we first got Bear, he was an absolute terror. Such a terror. <laughs> he had a taste for arms and noses and would often draw blood while biting down hard. For some reason, he would get fanatic about biting us. He, once he started, he just wouldn't stop. Hey, Pinksy. And he would often end up in the naughty cage because of it. He spent a lot of time in the naughty cage. After two years, he settled down quite significantly and he learned to love us, to cuddle us, and most of all, to trust us. He was the best ferret to do YouTube videos with. And most of you would probably know him from the YouTube videos that he did with me. I miss Bear. Bear would often just sit there and wait for me to finish a YouTube video and just snuggle up. Well, these little ones are little wriggle bots. Just have to wriggle all the time. He would still occasionally nip my nose if I cuddled him too much, but often it was my fault because I didn't take any hints when he told me to stop earlier. He'd be like, hey, enough already. Sometimes I'd just push it a little too far because I do love my cuddles, my ferret cuddles. <laughs> Nothing beats a ferret cuddle. I really love and miss Bear. Even though he is gone now, our memories will stay with us forever. And who knows, if you have a ferret that misbehaves and is a bit of a terror and bites you and nips you and attacks you, then maybe yours with a bit of love time and patience can t turn out to be a ferret like bear as well we should never give up on them even if they are misbehaving hey meow. <laughs> he was definitely here to teach me about patience restraining myself because sometimes i did feel like choking him when he was being so naughty in the beginning and unconditional love because I loved him no matter what he did and I never gave up on him me and Doug never gave up on him and he turned out to be such a beautiful ferret so never give up on the tough ones or the rough ones because they might turn out to be the biggest cuddle pots down the line as well and you too might get warm and fuzzy memories of them one day when they are gone nothing beats a good ferret story Please click on the link below to check out the new warm and fuzzy ferret stories to warm your heart and soul. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Bye! <laughs> Make the warm and fuzzy ferret stories to warm your heart and soul ebook yours today! Man!